I read an article on Gizmodo website regarding the Pirate Bay using your CPU to mine for Monero cryptocurrencies and I wanted to see if it is true. So here is a video on my demonstration of proof that it is true. Now this is one of the articles, it's an older one. Instead of serving you ads on a website, they want to mine coins on your CPU, which will cost you more electricity and you are helping financially the Pirate Bay. Now here is our CPU usage. This is the task manager. You can see my recording program is using about 30 to 40 or 50 percent. And I will demonstrate to you shortly what happens when you actually visit a Pirate Bay website. And it only starts on a certain website. Okay. Now in Australia, I am located in Australia, we are not allowed to access the Pirate Bay. This page is coming from the cache, so I'm going to refresh it. And the and I'm using through I'm using a, a proxy server in Brazil to allow access. As you can see from this website. Australian government has blocked the website. It's understandable. Now I'm going to enable the proxy server using one of the publicly available ones. And once connected, it should refresh. Just have to keep retrying. Eventually it will go through. doing a force refresh, control F5 on Internet Explorer. Okay, I still don't believe that's the right page. We can still see a certificate error. Okay, there we are. We are actually on the website now. I'll do another refresh. Okay. Now I'm just looking at some torrents and I'm monitoring the CPU usage. I'm expecting the CPU to go over 100 or, or at least 100%. Okay, I visited this website before and it's coming from the cache to prepare this video. I'll do another refresh. So right now I'm trying to find out which page does the mining start. The Gizmodo article did say that it doesn't, it, it, it is actually injected into certain pages. Okay, so I opened a couple of tabs and will monitor the CPU usage. And when it reaches 100%, we will close the tabs one by one and see if the CPU usage goes down. This way we can find out which page it's on. Okay, so CPU usage is still normal. As before, the recording software is using up most of the CPU. Okay, nothing out of the ordinary here. I open multiple tabs, you can see the CPU hikes. Now we're going to wait a little bit more. Because I'm going through a a proxy server that is slow, I'm assuming the mining software or the, the scripts that they're using taking a while to come through. That's just an assumption, but let's wait. The suspense is killing me. Yeah. 
nothing happening yet. I'm expecting Internet Explorer to start using 99, 100%. Okay, just get these websites up and running. Refresh, just in case. Click on the torrent. This is my first time doing it, by the way. I don't promote piracy. This is just a demonstration. Okay, still nothing. Come on. Oh, here we go. Wow. Internet Explorer, 100%. That's it. They've got it. Now let's see what page it's on. Wow. My screen recording quality might be reduced now. Wow, look at that. The CPU usage, 100%. It is true, but we will need to prove it. Okay. Now let's close one page at a time and see if the CPU drops or not. Okay, still the same. Okay, I think it is the HD movies, which is a very popular section of the Pirate Bay. And the mouse is very, very laggy at the moment. Okay, I'm going to try and close it. And wow, there we go. As you can see, I just closed HD movies section and CPU went down. Now, is this mining or not? Let's find out. I'm going to go and find the, the uh, temporary internet file section and see what files it has downloaded. Okay, I have now cleared the temporary internet files location. We're starting a clean slate. I've come back to the website, opened up a couple of tabs. Now, I want to wait and see the CPU usage hike again and then we will go and find the mining software. Here we go. It's quite aggressive. Here it goes. Internet Explorer. Yep. That's 99%. Now let's go into our temporary files. As you can see the date and time, they're the most recent and the folder size haven't really changed much, only very small and the system is extremely laggy at the moment. Okay, let's uh, have a look into one of the folders and see where this mining component is. Let's go to the most recent one. Okay, nothing here, I think. Here it is. Crypto Knight. That is, that is what it's using. Wow. It really is mining. I cannot believe it. Let's have a look at the contents. It's a compiled binary, so we're going to see garbage. But going down... Somewhere down here we can actually see, that's it there, Kryptonite, Kryptonite.c, it's a compiled program. Yep, Pirate Bay is busted. Well, they did come out clean saying they're looking for alternative uh, revenues instead of showing advertisements. They might as well get into cryptocurrencies. They're, they already receive uh, Bitcoin as donations. And not many people donate. Okay. Nothing here. Probably something there, but I don't know. Um, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I did making it.
Um, on Gizmodo website, they have a they have a recommendation of plugins you can install into Chrome and Firefox to disable or stop the mining because this can happen on any website, not just the Pirate Bay. Yeah, it's really, really hard to close this page. And by the looks of it, the mining just went mental. Doesn't matter what tab I close, it's still running. Only if I fully close the Pirate Bay websites, then the mining really stops. It clearly indicates it's from the, uh, the Pirate Bay. Thank you for watching.